it's 3.30 in the morning and we have a super early flight heading to Guatemala. We've packed everything in our lives in these backpacks. There's mine. Show them yours, show them yours. Mars's has all of the camera gear and his clothes and mine has all of my, my clothes and shoes. But we're going for a wedding, so we're going for a wedding. We're gonna go hike Akatanango. We're gonna go to like an, uh, Lake Atitlan. And then we're going to Simic Shampi. And then we're going to Tikal and the Mayan ruins. We're doing a lot of freaking stuff. We're going for 17 days. Bye house. We're leaving our house here in this parking lot. Let's do it. Let's like do it. Let's do it. 17 days. I hope it's gonna be okay. Bye, Bye Edison. We landed in Guatemala City. But we're actually not going to be spending much time here. We're heading to the colonial city of Antigua, which is about an hour and a half away. And we grabbed a, a taxi at the airport and it was 160 quetzales. We made it to Antigua, Guatemala. So before Guatemala City was the capital in 1776, Antigua was the capital of Guatemala. But in 1773, there was this massive earthquake that destroyed largely most of the city. So a lot of the surrounding buildings were like the 17th, 18th century colonial architecture. Right, So, the, but it's super unique with this, the Spanish architecture, the cobblestone roads and all the beautiful colors. So yeah. we're, we're super excited, excited to explore. Yeah, we'll be exploring it later today, but right now we're going to check into our hostel. It's called Somos and let's go check out our room. Let's do it. staying in this incredible hostel right downtown in Antigua and we have a private room <laughs> private which room, we private have not bathroom. experienced before yeah. in a hostel usually in hostels we're sharing with like at least three other people or two other people and um, so this is really nice and it's humongous and it was 180 quetzales Guatemala is so hilly and green. And actually, this might be wrong. I'm gonna double check. But Guatemala means the land of the trees. It's very lush. It's very lush here. I'm loving it. You find this in Spanish. It's a good way to learn Spanish. Yeah. Coupons, I guess, but things to show around town to get discounts, so that's exciting. Oh, dude, tacos. 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 You know, when Lamar sees tacos, saw tacos, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yummy. We did, we barely walked out the door. So the exchange rate for Quetzales is seven. 0.73, I believe, uh, to one US dollar. And so for the most part, easiest way is like whatever it is that you see in Quetzales, just divide by eight to get a rough, you know, rough idea. Um, or 7.73 every time if you want. <laughs> so my tacos de pollo by 35 by eight. It's just over four bucks. So after a delightful, yummy lunch, we're gonna hit our friends Ashley and Wilson up, which we're here for their wedding. Freaking super stoked for that. We're gonna hit them up, see what they're doing tonight, 
and uh, just kind of get this good today figured out. Good friends, they live on the East Coast. Yay, we're here to celebrate yeah, their wedding. Yeah. Woo! Some Guatemalan rum. Okay. Sacapa. We're gonna have a little tasting here. Where did you get this? This was a gift from our wedding planner. Pride. Yeah, like everybody yeah. we've They're asked, pride. everybody we've asked, they're like, oh, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so we're like, oh, really? Okay, cool. All right, well, let's cheers so, to salute. Ashley and Wilson. Thank you so much, Dude. guys. It's an honor to be here with you guys. Welcome to Guatemala, we made it. I'm so Our excited. Our guest. Yay. Oh man. All right, we are closing out the first day. In Antigua. In Antigua. I love this place. It was a great day. I have the hiccups. It's a beautiful town or a beautiful city. It's such a beautiful city. There's All lots of, of the character. architecture is mm -hmm. so gorgeous. And we saw someone get proposed to tonight at the we restaurant. Did. We freaking did. And there was this guy singing on his guitar, mm -hmm. and there were flower petals all over the water. Yeah. It was just, it was so romantic. Yeah, it was a nice night. Yeah. Tomorrow we have a big day, so we're gonna go ahead and close out here. Yeah. But yeah. it's just getting started. It's just getting started, and it's so great. I'm really glad you guys are mm -hmm. here with us. Good night. Good night. The Santa Catalina Arch was built in 1694. On each side of the arch is a convent. In the 1690s, nuns lived on one side and taught on the other. Their vows of seclusion caused them to avoid all contact with the outside world. The arch was built to connect a passageway between the school and the convent so that the nuns wouldn't break their vows. The convent of Santa Clara was founded in 1699. It took 16 years to finish building the church and convent. Sadly, they only remained standing for two years before an earthquake reduced them to rubble. Replacements were completed in 1734, but again lost in the large earthquake of 1773. 200 years passed and another earthquake damaged the convent even further. Today, structures are being refurbished, but most are only relics of their former glory. We're back at the hostel after an incredible morning out with our friends. We've really just fallen in love with Antigua. There's beautiful views, amazing food, incredible coffee, friendly people. I don't know if having a week here is really gonna be enough, but um, we are packing up all of our stuff at the hostel and then heading over to our friend's hotel because we're checking into an Airbnb later and they're letting us keep our stuff there so we don't have to walk around with our heavy backpacks all day. Bye, Blue. I highly Sorry. recommend this room. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, for sure. Salud. Just talking about all the wildlife and around here. You know, some jaguars, snakes. Just jaguars? Frogs. So. There probably are some There's some sort cats, of cat. Small There's cat. definitely some sort of cat. The Kixalas are in another region of the country, and they're very elusive birds. They don't really like humans. So they're hard to see, but they're beautiful. They have these like long tails. Yeah. And so you said it was the bird of the country. It is the na 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 national uh, national bird, yeah. Kind of like the, the, the cardinal. The and it's named after. It's named after. It's like if our money were the bald eagle, you know? Their oh. money's the kiksal, which is that bird. I wish our money was the bald eagle. It's like 50 eagles, please. <laughs> you know? That's kind of what it's like. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Look at my new 
strap. I've literally gone years without having a camera strap. And now I have one. They're whole nother good beer. Right. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the place, yeah? This is Uleu. Uleu means Earth, or Mother Earth, in Quiche. Quiche is one of the 22 languages that is still, uh, Mayan languages, that is still alive in Guatemala. So what we try to do is a tribute to Earth, yeah? You'll see that we have like a lot of animals hiding all over the bar. We have like always plants, flowers, spices, yeah? And now we also we work with like fresh products from the market. Mm -hmm. The deal here is that we don't have a menu, so you guys are gonna be the menu. You're gonna tell me oh. what kind of the spirit do you like, what kind of cocktails do you like, fruity, herbs, flowers, whatever, and we're gonna try to make something. Cool, man. Here, when, when we say like cheers, we don't say salud or cheers or behind, we say uh, Matteo Chuleu. Oh, yeah. And herbs. Herbs on the side of herbs. So perfect. Yeah. I think does that lead you somewhere? Yeah. It takes you somewhere. I have some. Give me like okay. a. Um, which was the place where you got your first kiss? Oklahoma. There was like a in a bathroom in a disco. Oh. Oh. In a fair like a fairground. It's like oh, a theme cute. park. Okay. okay theme it park. A, wish, okay, we're gonna play with that. Uh, uh, mine was a uh, whiskey. Um, what, inspired by Mantiosh, Mantiosh, which means thank you in indigenous language here. So uh, I told him just whatever he feels inspired by that word with a uh, whiskey base. And then what did you get? I did a rum base with mint and something that's hidden but refreshing. And I did Antigua herbs gin. So, so somehow it's good. Very good. Very good too. <laughs> Alright, so we just enjoyed a really fun day and now we're heading to our Airbnb in the dark. But you know, Antigua is super walkable, very cobblestone-y, so you know, but still walkable, easy to find things. Um, so, should just be right down the road. Also, I'm like the slowest person ever. I'm always the caboose. Everyone walks so fast. So I'm just back here, like a turtle. Slow and steady wins the race. Unless I get mugged, and then I don't win the race. We're making our way. Look how far they are. Also, I'm carrying this huge backpack. It's very heavy, but I'm making it. Look how far they are now. Nobody's, nobody's waiting for little old Ashley back here. Yeah, there should be a number. There's a code for the lockbox too. That's always nice. Oh my gosh, there's I another lock. Yeah, there's two. Yeah. Uh, four locks. Okay. Oh my gosh. We should be safe, guys. I'm gonna go explore. <laughs> we made it. We're gonna try to get a good amount of sleep tonight because tomorrow we have a very big hike happening. We're hiking. Nine miles. Nine mile hike 
to the top of Akatenango. We can see Fuego, which erupts every 15 minutes. 4,000 feet in elevation. 4,000 feet in elevation. We're very excited. But we need to get lots of sleep. And I may be putting this on a separate video. So check below. Check here. Check here for the video for our Akatenango hike. The Akatenango and Fuego hike was one of my favorite experiences in Guatemala. It took our group about five hours to get to base camp. We packed a lot of layers because the temperature drops quickly as you reach the summit. The start of the hike was in the low 60s, but at night it got down to the low 20s. Super chilly. For those of us who continued on to hike to the erupting Fuego, it was another four hours round trip with a little tougher terrain especially when hiking back in the dark. So bring a headlamp. But the payoff for this hike was probably the most incredible to date. When we arrived back from the Akatenango hike, we were ready for some very well-deserved R&R. And what better place to rest than the Shire? This place was absolutely my favorite stay in Antigua, and we still got to enjoy fuego erupting from the warmth of our cozy hobbit hole. The Antigua area is filled with so many things to see and do, we could have spent months. For us, being coffee lovers, visiting a coffee farm was a must. We went with Delahente Tours, which helps to take out the middleman and bring more income to local coffee growers. We got to spend time roasting beans and walking through the process at the farmer's home. It was super informative, really personal, and we even got to leave with a bag of coffee. Well, the time has come to leave Antigua. We will miss its cobblestone streets. Um, yeah, we experienced a full week here. So. Yeah. Really mixing nice, the great Spanish architecture, mm -hmm. all the colonial buildings and the bright colors and yeah. the incredible food. But, you know, every good thing comes to an end. So, mm -hmm. but it's definitely yeah, a city. Would, yeah, this would be a city worth coming back to stay for, for, sure. for a decent yeah. bit longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it inspires you to travel here, check it out, and maybe gives you some good tips on what to see. Yep. Peace out.